So welcome back to another video and in this one we're going to be taking a look at the new Microtik Cap XLAC. Just look at that beauty, isn't it massive? So this is supposed to be a new long range version of their existing Cap AC AP. As you can see it comes with pretty much the AP, an injector and a power adapter. That's about it. So there's the AP. As you can see it looks like a smoke detector. I mean, it's not super pretty if you ask me but it's usable. As you can see we've got our LEDs on the side exactly the same as the Cap AC and a centre button which is your mode button. Here's the mount on the bottom. I'm not a fan of this mount. It actually fell on my head a few times when I was installing it. Yeah, not great. And there's a little bigger compartment there for your Ethernet cable which was always an issue on the Cap AC. There's this bracket which does come off fairly easy if you ask me. Way too easy. And we also have a Cap AC. I thought I should buy a Cap AC because I didn't actually have one to do a proper comparison between these two. So as you can see, the Cap AC comes with a nice instruction manual for installing it, which the Cap XL does not. I found that kind of interesting. We get the same power adapter and injector, though as you can see, I've already used this injector for testing. But the Cap AC also comes with this square case, and you can change it out. So you can either have a square design or a round design. Yeah, and there's the Cap AC. It's quite a cute little AP. As you can see, it's much smaller in this frame here. And again, we have the same LEDs on the side, the same push button in the middle for your mode. And as you can see on the bottom, we have a totally different bracket. And this one is a lot more secure, if you ask me. It's metal, it just clicks in nice. But a very small compartment for your Ethernet cables there. I'll show that later in the video. So you might be wondering, how big is the Cap XL compared to the Cap AC? Well, um, look, yeah, yeah. It's quite a bit bigger, and if you ask me, it's not as good looking. Which one would you rather have on your ceiling? Leave it in the comments below. And here's the same comparison with the square case for the Cap AC. I do say I do quite like that square case. But also the Cap AC round case is nice too. I'm not a huge fan of the Cap XL design though. I actually found it kind of funny that the Cap AC will perfectly fit in the middle of the Cap XL. Yeah, it actually kind of looks better with the Cap AC there. So we're going to be comparing these APs, particularly the range. We're not going to be comparing the performance so much because they both hit 500 megabits, which is basically the max they could do. So let's see how the range compares. So I started by mounting these APs both in pretty much the same position in the same room as my normal AP that runs my entire house and then did some tests by going room to room with my iPhone 8. The iPhone is probably the best device I have in terms of Wi-Fi performance, so I figured that would be a great way to test this. And instantly I found an issue. Literally in the same room as both APs, the Cap XL was giving a weaker signal. Now, I'm no genius, but surely the signal should be better when you're in the exact same room. But I tested it in every other room and it wasn't actually that great. And in fact, when I went outside the house, I actually dropped the five gigahertz side of the Cap XL, but I could still see the Cap AC's five gigahertz. How is that 100% range improvement, Microtic? That's a negative improvement over the Cap AC. Now, I don't know if maybe I had something configured wrong. Maybe they were interfering with each other. Or maybe my Cap XL is just broken. It is a very new product, but this just seems a very off result. So I figured, let's do an open air test and actually connect a client to the device and do like ping and speed tests at various distances and see how it performs. So I tested each AP outside on their own and just walked to the end of my garden and saw how far it would go. And as you can see, the Cap AC actually did better. In fact, it impressed me. It did better than a Cisco AP. And I don't understand this. Like, I, I feel like I've got these results mixed up, but I have not got the results mixed up. The Cap XL just isn't really working for me. Now, I think the problem here is the Cap XL has a bigger antenna than my iPhone. And my iPhone just can't talk to it at that range. 
but for some reason the Cap AC's smaller antenna is better with my iPhone, probably because it's a similar size antenna. Looking on the inside of these APs, you can see that they actually have the exact same board inside. It's just that the Cap XL has these four antennas around the outside, which in theory should make it better. There is also some weird grey plastic in here, which doesn't feel metal or anything. Uh, I don't know if that's RF blocking or something. Who knows? And the Cap AC is basically the exact same, just the board's the other way around and the antennas are soldered on. Yeah, pretty much. And here we are comparing the network connection compartments on these two APs. And as you can see, the Cap XL is a lot bigger, especially for these molded connectors. I have no idea how the Cap AC manages with that tiny hole there. So here we are looking at the LEDs on the side. And as you can see, they do shine very strange, especially in the dark. The XL shines through the top, which is even stranger looking. It just looks weird. Microtik, please just make a proper light area instead of just shining through the plastic and through every orifice on the AP. And here's that same comparison but with the square case which is actually a lot better I think on the Cap AC. The LEDs just seem to have a nicer, more sharp hole but as you can see the lights still aren't very bright through these and could be a lot better I think. I don't like the blue power light either. And a final comparison is the middle light for the button in the middle. As you can see, the Cap AC is a little bit brighter. And I think that's just because it's the exact same LED, just with a smaller button. As you can see, if you press the middle, they will actually turn off as well by default. But you could reprogram that button to do whatever you want. You could have it like, I don't know, turn off the AP or something. If you want to have a coffee shop or something. Pretty cool. So I guess it's time to give a recommendation here and personally I think the Cap AC exceeded my expectations to be honest. I'd used Microtik's Cap AC before and it was a decent access point but the Cap AC is actually a lot better and I wish I'd used it before. The Cap XL on the other hand, it didn't have any improvements for me. It was a worse experience in pretty much every regard. It's almost like it wasn't designed by the same people. Uh, it, it's weird. So, if you want my recommendation, get the Cap AC. And maybe in the future, Microtik can make a new Cap XL that's actually better than the Cap AC. Because at the moment, I don't see a difference, at least with my iPhone testing. Which is, let's face it, what most wireless devices are going to be these days. So, yeah. But that's it from me for this video. Subscribe if you like them. I'll see you in the next one.